Hey, I'm Fresh. And I'm Felicia. Today we're going to talk about our CO2 laser buying journey. We went to the ISA or ISA yep, in Orlando right. with the International Science Association trade show and we met the good people at Eon Lasers. That's right. We which did. are actually located in our hometown. Very cool. And they have a new series out. What's it called? Redline. Redline supposedly is the fastest laser engraver in the entire world. That's you know right. how you have a red line on your speedometer or your when you're going, when you're driving a little bit too fast, yep. I think that's what they're trying to push the limits of what laser engravers can do. That's so right. here is the announcement. Take a look and uh, let us know what you think. Thank you for coming out. Um, today we're really proud to uh, showcase our brand new laser. Um, first time seeing this in the public here is our Redline series. Uh, our Redline series is really special to us. This is years and years, uh, nearly a decade of innovations have gone into this. And what you're seeing today is, is uh, dozens of people um, working to make what we think is the best user experience and the best laser on the market. Um, we named it Redline, so it's, it's, it's an interesting uh, uh, term to choose. We chose Redline, it's much like your car, the manufacturer considers that the safe limit to how fast you can, uh, or how, how, how high you can rev your engine. So essentially this is as fast as you can push something and do so reliably and safely for a long time. Um, so Redline was a really fitting uh, a name for that. Um, in the years of developing lasers here, we've, we've gone through lots of revisions, lots of R&D, and so we're at a point now where we're really proud to say that our lasers have full AC servos across the line. This is a big push for us. This allows uh, uh, much higher speeds, much higher precision. Um, I never introduced you, Alicia. <laughs> That's okay, I'll introduce myself. That's okay. I'm so sorry. My name is Lek Kamaj, Vice President of Beyond Laser USA. Uh, with me is the wonderful Alicia Spector. She's our uh, fantastic sales manager. Woo! <laughs> Alicia. Um, <laughs> Thank you, everyone. Thank I'm you. so sorry. Uh, back to the machines. Um, with, with AC servos, we're, we get uh, very high precision and very high speeds. Um, with that also comes high acceleration. So we have a very high cycle time. Whenever we talk about speed, we want to also speak about cycle time. How fast you can put a cup or a coaster inside of your machine and get it back out is really important to us. If you can save time there, you can spend time doing something else with your family um, or doing more work. All of our machines now come with uh, full linear rails um, and uh, this is really important for the robustness and also for the rigidity of the machine as well. You'll see that um, very high precision machinery always comes a linear rail and um, you'll see the same thing for all of, all of our lines. Um, with the Redline series too, we've completely gone back to the drawing board for what a laser head can be. So instead of an autofocus pin or any kind of module that would sense autofocus, now our laser head itself does the autofocusing. Um, we spent a lot of time making the laser head a lot lighter as well. So anything we can do to lower the mass of the laser head accelerating uh, is going to increase not only the lifespan of your laser, your ability to increase those speeds, um, and, 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 also, and again, help, help, help with the rigidity. Um, to touch on the robustness, so as a laser is moving back and forth, it, it's um, it's really important that the platform you're standing on is really rigid. And so this year's Mira, the Redline series, is the most rigid laser um, we've ever made. And so there's more metal in, in the current, or in, in the Redline series than, than any other uh, Eon laser, or uh, any other laser that I've, I've actually ever seen. Um, our Nova series is exceptional with this as well. We use a single door on the side of the mirror now, so accessibility. It's really nice. If there's any kind of maintenance to ever happen, we remove a single door and everything inside is accessible to you. The same is true for the Novas. Um, and it allows a much stronger frame design, which again goes back to our, our speed and, and, our, uh, and our design. All right, so let's talk about it. These are things that we here at Eon Laser are always really, really excited about. Our super clean pack design and our compact design. What does this mean? This means that all of our important parts are inside of the laser, so it saves you space, and we know that space is money in your shops. So, the industrial chiller, the air assist, 
and the exhaust systems are all built into the cabinets of the lasers. This is not a new thing for Eon Laser, but we've upped it again, upped it a little bit more. So the Mira series now have a quiet inline fan inside of it instead of the louder fan that was in there before. That allows for better maintenance and really a quieter workspace, which is what we all need. The Nova series, we have also kicked it up a notch and we have included inside the cabinet its own, do you want to say it like? Its own air compressor. Its own air compressor. I know this sounds crazy, but it's not because now you have the absolute best cutting ability that you can get out of that Nova laser. Something else that we really always like to talk about is the clean pack design on the inside of the laser. We have upped it again off of the mirror lasers as well. We all have, we have the accordion doors on the side. So every time you're cutting or engraving, all of those particles are staying inside of your workspace instead of going inside of your machine. So what that means is less maintenance and really uh, a better ability to suck that fume and those particles out. So that's a really good thing. Going along with the all-in-one design is our comprehensive design. So now every single Eon laser has a camera built into the, the lid of the laser, including the Mira 5, which is new for us. Uh, this gives you a better precision on lining things up and also uh, just being able to see your workspace a little bit better. We also updated the laser head that Lech was talking about earlier. So now all of the mirror lasers also have the newly designed laser head, which means the autofocus is built into the laser head. So no more collisions with the laser pin. Everything is built in and the air assist comes out of that laser head too, which is really nice. Also to ensure that your laser is always in center and always level, we always, now we also include a bullseye level on every laser so that you can make sure that you're nice and level when you're engraving or cutting. Another great design for the all-in-one all in design is our new LED lighting system. So we always have the LEDs on the side. We now have them built into the top of the lid. So when you open the lid, it actually illuminates the workspace as well, uh, making it really nice. The next thing is we now have the Eon laser, which looks really nice all lit up, but it also serves function. So when you're on standby, it's white. When it's running, it's green. If you have an error, it's gonna turn red so that you know you have to go back to the laser to uh, push that button and make it go again. Uh, and now, the new Red Lion series, uh, this is the most exciting part, is all toolless. So all of the uh, parts, mirrors, and lenses that you need to change is all a toolless process. Uh, this is super exciting. The lens is now held in with a magnet, so you just take it out, held on with silicone rings, you pop the lens out, put a new one in, silicone ring, and pop it back in. Super easy to change. The mirrors are the same way. You take them out to clean them and you can put them right back in. What's really nice about this tool list is that everything is in its fixed position, which means we are not aligning mirrors very much anymore, which is a fantastic thing. The laser docking hub is a new thing as well. So what this does is it allows you to change a laser tube or maybe a laser source uh, what, so that you can take a laser tube out, put a new one in, it has a fixed beam path. So again, if you're changing a tube, you're not aligning the mirrors or the beam path anymore. Something fantastic. All right, a new keypad. Let's gonna go now. Um, so uh, intuitive, we have a brand new controller now and a brand new touch screen as well, a, 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 a brand new screen as well. Um, We've got a lot of feedback, so we've got years and years of experience here from laser users, our laser technicians, um, and also our, our, our own employees of what a keypad should be and how a keypad should function. And so we've taken all of that into consideration and we're designing a brand new keypad, a brand new controller as well. And what you see here is exactly that. It's, it's, uh, uh, it's, it's actually all of the useful functions you could want on a laser all on one uh, platform. It's, it's really great. Um, a new, a new first, a, a, a new industry first is our proactive design. So, whenever you have mirrors on on a laser or optics, they get warm. So there's always a laser passing through them. The question for us is always, how do you maintain a laser? When do I clean this lens? When do I clean the mirror? Um, instead of just checking it, we now have sensors on all of those components. So, your lens has a, a thermal sensor on there. Your your mirrors have sensors on there as well. Your water chiller has a sensor on there. Your laser tube has a sensor on there. So if there's ever a problem, there's an immediate um, uh, 
uh, response from the controller. It tells you what the problem is. If you have a chipped or damaged mirror or if it's dirty at all, we have a sensor that's going to tell you that you need to clean or change that mirror. So it's really a proactive approach to two to lasers in, 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 instead of just a regular maintenance approach. It's going to save you a lot of time, a lot of headache, and um, you can just get back to just operating your laser, which is really the key here. Um, safeguarded. So in, 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 that, in that thermal design too, we also have um, protection that takes place. So um, one of the protection barriers is going to be our, our, our side channels. And so whenever you engrave something, you get soot and debris that comes up. We don't want those near those mirrors. And so we want those mirrors to last as long as possible without cleaning them. And so we have this nice clean pack that uh, completely encompasses everything. Our laser head also has a window on there as well. So cleaning mirror three, uh, cleaning your lens, these things go to, you know, basically relying on the sensor. Um, those, are, those are really uh, uh, actions of, uh, of yesterday. Um, this is really exciting as well. This is a, another industry first for us. Uh, the versatility that we have in laser tube selection. So if everyone here is really familiar with a regular laser tube, typically glass tube, they operate really well. Under certain circumstances, they cut really well. Um, we've got the ability to change to a RF tube or a glass tube on a laser. Um, but then we also have the ability to drop in a fiber source as well. So we could have uh, you know, a, a RF tube and also a fiber source um, and for us, that's 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 a first. Um, our ability to drop in a laser tube as well with our with our with our docking design is is uh, industry first. If you guys get a chance, please stop by our booth. We'd love to demonstrate that to you. We can simply unclick the tube, pick it up, put it back in, and the tube is perfectly aligned. There's no need to ever change anything on there. Um, it's going to come right down the nozzle every time. Um, that's huge for us, you know. So if your tube, if your laser tube's ever down, and you have a neighbor that's next door that has the same laser as you, you can walk over and, uh, as if you're borrowing some sugar, you can borrow the laser tube. It would, it would drop right in, and it would, it would go right down the optics. So I'm going to take back over one more time. <laughs> Uh, we here at Eon Laser USA uh, always want to make sure that time is money. We want you to get this job done as fast as possible and put as much money in your pocket. We care as much about your businesses as you do and we want to make sure that you succeed. So our goal in this Red Line series was really to give you all of the powers to do that. As fast as you can get a job done, as efficient as you can get a job done, as efficient as your machine can be, this is the Red Line series. We really tried to go above and beyond for all of you, and we hope that you agree that we succeeded in this task. Thank you, guys.